this is John from k4programming.com and this is a tutorial on sorting lists in Java. So um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to sort lists using comparators. And um, I'm going to start here, I'm in Eclipse, I've got my main method set up. And I'm going to start by creating a list of strings. And I'm going to call this animals because this is going to be a list of animal names and I'll set that equal to a new array list of strings. So the stuff I'm about to show you works equally well for any kind of list um, but I'm going to use the simplest case here, array list. So um, let's add some animal names to this list. So I'll start with cat and let's copy that and there is actually a, a shortcut in Eclipse for duplicating lines, but unfortunately it seems to conflict with another shortcut on my system, so I can't use it. And we'll add here um, elephant, tiger, let's have lion, snake, and mongoose. Now, um, if I want to sort this list, in alphabetical order, um, I can use a static method of the collections class called sort. So I'll say collections.sort and um, I'll pass in my list of animals here like this. And then let's just display the list. I'll say for string animal in animals. and sysout animal and let's run that so um, now my animals are sorted in alphabetical order and let's just just to make that a bit clearer let's um, make the order a bit less like alphabetical order to start with put the elephant at the end there and let's run that and there we go now supposing um, I want to sort a list of integers, for example, um, or doubles, it's going to be um, basically exactly the same. But I'll show you here because I want to demonstrate something with this uh, a bit later on. Let's try um, integers. Um, I'll say numbers equals new array list integer. And um, I'll say numbers dot add, and let's add some random numbers in here in a random order. So I'll have three, one, thirty six, seventy three, and um, forty. So in no particular order, and let's make it, let's mix up even a bit more and put one at the end here. So it's, it's exactly the same to sort that, I just say collections.sort numbers and if I then output these numbers for integer number in numbers and sysout number and that's going to sort in numerical order there we go, 1, 3, 36, 40, 73. Now, um, the, the order that this is actually sorting in is called natural order. And we're going to look at natural order in the next tutorial. And in fact, natural order is also the order that um, tree set sorts in. And it's the order that uh, tree map sorts its keys in as well. But supposing you want to sort your, um, your list in something other than natural order. To do that, you need to create a class that implements the comparator interface. So um, let's suppose I want to create a comparator that can sort my animals in order of string length. So I'll say class, um, let's call it a string length comparator. And I'll say implements comparator comparator and comparator is a template type so I'm going to put in here the type of thing that I want to sort which is string 
and um, let's add the import and then I can click on this and go to add unimplemented methods and comparator just has one method which is called compare and the idea is, let's call that S1 and S2 compare is going to be supplied with the objects in your list two at a time and it has to say uh, which one is greater in each case and the way it does that is if S1, if the first argument here is equal to the second argument it should return zero if S1 is greater than S2 in other words um, if the first argument should sort later in the list than the second one it should return 1 and if the first argument here is less than the second argument in other words if it should sort earlier in the list then you should return minus 1 so let's do that, let's get the lengths of these strings so I'll say int uh, len1 equals s1.length and int len2 equals s2.length um, and I'll say if len1 is greater than len2 then we want len1 to sort further up in the list so, so I'll return 1 um, else if len1 is less than len2 I'm going to return negative 1 so it, for greater it's you return a positive and for less than if, for if this is less than this you return a negative value and if neither of those cases occur I'm just going to return 0 down here now to use that comp comparator um, I just have to supply an instance of it to my sort here so when I sort the animals I can just say new um, string length comparator string length comparator like this so I'm just creating a new instance of the string length comparator and passing it to collections.sort here and if I run that now let's have a look we can see that my strings are sorted in order of the length of the string now supposing you want to sort in reverse alphabetical order that's a little bit more complex um, so let's take a look at that I'm going to sort firstly in alphabetical order so um, let's call this um, alphabetical comparator now um, the thing is how can I how can I compare two strings because uh, I want to say if uh, one string is alphabetically higher than another string I want to return plus one um, and actually the way to do that is um, I can use a method of strings called compare to so to sort alphabet alphabetically I could in fact just say um, return s1.compare2 s2 and compare to is a method of the um, comparable interface that we're going to be looking at in the next tutorial so um, this is really what defines natural order um, and if I let's use that so um, I'll sort my animals here um, let's comment this out so I'm going to put this code on caveofprogramming.com so you can look at it if you want to um, and let's supply here the alphabetical comparator and if I run that my animals are going to be um, in alphabetical order again and to make it reverse alphabetical, alphabetical order well let's change the name of this class to reverse alphabetical comparator a bit of a mouthful um, so I'll, I'll change this yeah, here all you have to do is um, so at the moment this this method is returning plus 1 if S1 is greater than S2 in other words if it sorts alphabetically later than S2 and it returns minus 1 if S1 is less than S2 and it returns 0 if they're equal so to sort in reverse alphabetical order all I have to do is switch the sign on this return value so I can just say here negative and if I run that 
I'm going to get my strings sorting in reverse alphabetical order. Now there's one last thing that I want to show you here. Um, if you want to sort um, integers, for example, then um, you can you can use this this kind of technique here. It's it's going to be pretty simple to extrapolate from this, I think. Um, but let's let's take a look at sorting integers um, because I just want to show you that you don't have to go to the trouble of creating a whole separate class here. You can just use an anonymous an anonymous class. So here, when I sort my numbers, I could just say new comparator comparator. And in the angle brackets here, I'll put integer because I'm sorting integers. And then round brackets, this is just as if I'm creating a new um, object of a class. But then I open a curly bracket, and there's the closing curly bracket that Eclipse has put in for me. And I implement the missing method here, the compare method. And let's sort these numbers in reverse numerical order. So um, I could use the actually the compare method of the numbers themselves, um, which is probably simplest. So I could say return, and let's call this um, num1 and num2. And I can say return num1.compare2 num2, and then just put the negative sign in there. And of course, if I wanted to write this in a longer way, I could say if num1 is greater than num2, return it will be negative 1 in this case, and so on. Um, I could like write it out kind of in full like this, but it's quicker to use the compare to method that's already built in. And if I run that, I've got my numbers sorting in reverse numerical order. Now, um, you can use this with your own classes very, very easily. Um, and in fact, uh, yeah, I'll show you quickly here um, a, a, an example of using it with your own class. Um, and if you feel you've got the idea by now, then of course you can skip the rest of this tutorial because what I'm going to show you now um, is really just building on what we've already seen. So let's have a, um, let's have a comment here. Um, sorting strings and let's um, copy that and go down here and I'll put a comment in saying sorting um, numbers and now after this I'll show you sorting um, arbitrary classes or I should say objects really objects so let's create up here a um, some kind of object that I want to sort. So I'll say class, um, let's make it, um, I don't know, person. And let's give person a public, well, we'll give person a private um, int ID and a private string name. Uh, define a constructor, public person, which takes an int ID and a string name. And let's just say this dot ID equals ID and this dot name equals name. And um, I'll define um, get and set methods for, um, for, for these values. Actually, let's go to our right click and go to source, um, generate getters and setters here, click ID and name. And um, I'm also going to just create a two string method, so public string to string. And that's going to just return um, ID is um, actually let's, yeah, let's sort this uh, these people in, in order of their name. So I'll just return the name to keep things simple here. Um, now, um, I'm going to create an array list of people here. So let's say uh, list person 
and I'll call that people equals new array list of person objects like this and um, I can define people and add them to my list um, most succinctly just by doing add and in here I can just say new person I could define the person uh, object separately with a variable um, and pass it in but I'll just do this instead and I'm going to give this an ID like one and a name Joe and let's let's add in a few more people here so we'll have one two and three so four people and let's give these um, IDs two three four and let's have a couple of girls and a couple of guys Bob and let's just um, mix the order of these up a bit and uh, if I want to sort these people so very very simple um, f firstly I'll output them so we can see what order they're in to start with and they're going to be in a random order actually not going to be to start with they're going to be in the order that I've added them to the array list of course um, so let's say person person in people and let's just do sysal person and if I run this um, we're going to have Joe, Bob, Claire, Sue because that's the order that I added them in and now let's sort them so if I say collections.sort people now this is going to have um, this is this is not going to work because um, we're going to look at this in the next tutorial but collections.sort by itself won't work because um, the person object as I defined it doesn't have any natural order it doesn't implement the comparable interface so to sort it I've got to supply a comparator, a comparator. so I'll say here new comparator and I'll use just an anonymous class just to um, just to keep things here all in one place um, and a comparator is going to sort person objects and I need to implement the um, compare to sorry the compare method here and in here I just need to do the same thing that I did before if two people are equal um, let's call them P1 and P2 I need to return naught if if the first person supplied here is greater than this one I need to return 1 and if P1 is less than P2 return minus 1 so I can decide here how to sort them and for example let's supposing I want to sort them in order of ID um, I could um, wrap my ID in an integer and use the compare to method or I could just explicitly write out an if then else thing here so I could say if p1.get um, ID is greater than p2.get ID then return 1 so I'm sorting in order of ID here else um, else if p1.getID is less than p2.getID then um, return negative 1 um, otherwise return 0 I could put an else in here but because this is going to happen anyway if neither of these have happened the else will be a bit superfluous so if I run that it's going to sort in order of ID which you can't see because I've not added ID to the to string let's add it in so plus ID plus name and if I run that now we can see we've got them sorted in order of ID there and of course I could equally well sort them in order in alphabetical order of name so I could say um, so this is um, sort sort in order of ID and let's sort in order of name as well so here sort in order of name and to do that I would just say um, very simply I could use a string comparator comparator and I could say return p1.get um, 
name dot compare to p2 dot get name and if I run that so my second lot of people here are going to be sorted in order an alphabetical order of name um, let's just before I finish here let's just do a sys out here just to put some let's have a extra backslash n in there just to put some space so my second lot of people sorted in order of name there okay so I think that's quite enough for this tutorial and in the next tutorial we're going to look at um, natural ordering and you'll see that natural ordering is, is very simple and um, just involves implementing the comparable interface um, but um, I'll leave that for next time and this code will be on caveofprogramming.com and until next time happy coding